Christian leaders that's rocking the church here. This is not a little thing that we're up to together. And so if you feel in yourself that sort of nauseous feeling, and at the same time sort of a growing passion for what God can do with your leadership, I want you to know you're in good hands. The thing is, is that God always uses ordinary people like you and I to change the world. Always has. It's not a new thing. This is how God has changed the world from the first disciples, which, by the way, were not rocket scientists, right? <laughs>like as a tradition, particularly within the ELCA, we've gotten away from discipleship as a way of being that actually flows from our biblical narrative and history. The greatest commandments are to love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength, and the second is like it, to love your neighbor as yourself. And that is discipleship. Oh my gosh, it's so energizing uh, to see congregational leaders from many different congregations in different places in the lead journey coming together to share their stories, to share their concerns and their struggles. I mean, that there were these children um, in, you know, close to single digit temperatures that did not have codes. They called Prince of Peace and within days we had, I mean, you couldn't even find codes anywhere. Walmart was uh, stocking shorts and t-shirts at this point. But people just kind of poured out and I felt like that was a bridge leading into the church. Our hopes and their dreams for their congregation. Anything that the school feels they have a need, we, I think we can fulfill that need. The assistant to the principal later called and said, would you be willing to, to give gifts to some of the children in, in the school? And so the relationship just began building. We were asked, would you consider uh, an official partnership with mm. us? Like, it's energizing. Really, really awesome. At the end of the day, we know that our congregations can only strengthen their ministry if the people who are part of those congregations deepen their own faith and have courage to live out of their values and out of their faith. It's hard. So Joy Rain's uh, mission is that all may know Jesus Christ and become his fully devoted followers, and that's what a disciple is. is a disciple is a fully devoted follower, and um, that's exhausting. You go places where God sends you. God doesn't ask you to just do what's easy. So the places where you think you're gonna go may not be the places that you end up going, but you go because God sends you, and actually God has been there in front of you preparing the way so that there's these listings that happen and things just come together and it it just all starts to work. It's scary for people because they love their congregation and they love the people who are there and it's risky for them. They're risking a lot in their relationships to try new things. But coming in and say I'm really interested in building a, a two-way relationship, I really am curious about who you are and what's going on. It's a completely different dynamic. Sometimes it's almost amazing to, to think back to where we were 18 months ago and we really thought we knew what we were doing. To realize just how blind we had been and to have our eyes open and our ears open and to have God place words into our ears that then speak a truth that then changes our lives. That's what LEAD is about, right? LEAD is inviting people to fall in love with God to fall in love with each other, to fall in love with themselves. And then we invite people to engage on this journey where the love just keeps getting deeper and wider. LEAD is transforming leaders who transform congregations.